What's up everybody, welcome back to Barnes Box. Today we're unboxing the behemoth. Uh, <laughs> as you can see by the fact that I couldn't fit my backdrop in, in its entirety, but hey, we've got Hitman over there. Io announced the 007 game, so uh, he's there. He's uh, he's chilling out in the corner celebrating. Um, but yeah, so as you can probably tell by this intro, this box is huge. I do have a game case here. I probably should have brought one of my PS5 game cases over, but here we go. Here's an Xbox game case for Assassin's Creed. Just to show you just how big this thing really is. It is it's huge. Um, but yeah, so uh, hopefully I can get this unboxing done on this small space, but uh, most things aren't this big. Um, <laughs> But yeah, as you can see on the front of the box right here, I have the uh, the disc version. Um, there is a digital version available, which is basically the exact same system, minus this little outcrop of uh, disc drive. Uh, it is a 7, which I probably, I mean, I assume it's probably because of AstroBot, which comes in pre-installed on it, I believe. Uh, it's what's 8K, 4K120, HDR, much like, much like the Series X competitor. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to fit this on. On the side, we have... PlayStation 5. It's heavy. On this side we have the console and controller. Sorry I had to show it like that, but that is the reality of my setup, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, play like never before. Lightning speed, harness the, harness the power of the custom CPU and SSD. That's the thing I'm really excited about about the system, is their custom SSD. It would be interesting to see. I mean, I doubt third parties are really going to utilize it that much. But it'd be really interesting to see first party exclusives, like I believe Ratchet and Clank isn't coming out on PS4. That'd be really interesting to see. Uh, breathtaking immersion, stunning games, blah 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 blah. Um, yeah, violence and fear. I mean, I guess that's for Astrobot, I don't know. This product allows you to restrict gameplay and access to the internet by children. There you go. It's for family friendly, I guess. Uh, yeah, I was lucky enough to be one of the ones from who ordered mine from Game that uh, got the email saying it was being delivered by Yodel and it might not be here till Friday, but luckily I got it today on the Thursday, just towards the end of the day. If I can actually get this out. So, we'll throw that over there somewhere so as with all PlayStation things packaging is nowhere near as nice as the Series X which had that beautiful kind of like open up reveal um, for the box this is your typical Sony outer box with an inner box inside like one of those uh, Russian dolls that I forget the actual name for just plain white all the way around Step one, take out the outer box. You guys can't even see that. Yes. If I open this up the wrong way, I feel like I might have opened this up the wrong way. Ah. Let's, uh... We get this out without dropping it. Oh. Maybe. Too many boxes. Too many boxes. Right. Um, he can just sit there for now. He's just going to chill out. First up, we have the uh, the upper box. Man, there's a weight lift. <laughs> I am seriously unfit. Um, a quick start. How to connect stuff. You've got the manual for guarantee. You've got my arm wrapped in a cable. You've got the safety guide. Got the outlet, obviously me here in the UK. I've got UK plug, five amps. Normal kind of connection. Uh, what do they call that? Eight, figure eight connection, kettle cable. No, kettle cable's the big one. Don't remember, but it's that style of cable. Let me know in the comments. We have a charger with a... Wow, that looks like a rubber band, right? It's actually a cable tie. I thought that was a rubber band. 
I guess maybe it's like recycled. It looks like it might be recycled material. So, I mean, good on Sony for that. If it is. Kind of feels like that. You know when you have those uh, recyclable, recycled pens? And the shafts I made out of it. That's what this feels like. So, maybe it is. I don't know. But yeah. Well, USB-C. Much like the Series X. Or the new Xbox controllers, I should say. Um, to USB. Uh, the controller that has been really interesting to hear stuff about. Because obviously here in the UK, we got it a week later. So I've been on the internet for a week hearing about what the amazing things this controller does. Um, definitely feels, feels really nice. Thumbsticks feel... Ooh, those buttons are really satisfying. D-pad feels pretty standard. These haptic triggers is what I'm really looking forward to seeing how they work. Bumpers, not as satisfying as the new Series X ones, I'd say, but better than the Xbox One bumpers. But not as good as the Series X is what I'm saying. Triggers are very much PlayStation triggers still. You are, what was that? Start and then share? Broadcast? I can't remember what they said this one was called. And then obviously the touchpad, which would light up. PlayStation logo operates as the button and then you got an onboard mute button which I, I'm still not sure if you can use this onboard mute button for um, like if you plugged in a headset into here will that mute it for you that'd be really nice if it did um, but I do know that this is a microphone also that you can use to party chat and stuff and that will definitely mute that obviously it's no detachable back much like PS4 you have to use the rechargeable so if the batteries go you're kind of stuck with buying a whole new controller which is unfortunate but there we go or maybe you could replace it yourself. I don't know. There's the controller. And here's the vertical stand and an HDMI cable, which should be 2.1 compatible for your 4K 120 needs. Assuming your television supports it. Get rid of that box. Right. So this is the vertical stand. I'm actually going to tilt this camera down a bit now. Probably should have done that earlier, but there we go. Um, so this is really weird looking. Uh, we'll figure that out once we get the place to it. So obviously you can lay this flat or horizontal, uh, flat or horizontal. You can either lay it horizontally, vertically, flat or upright. And but you will need the vertical stand for both. So I guess it's not really a vertical stand, more of a stand stand um but yeah because of the curved size you'll need it for stability even if it's lying down Whew. i don't know which way the right way up is looks like i might have it the right way up but backwards here it is the beast the behemoth the tower That thing is heavy, <laughs> especially trying to reach over while I'm sitting down. Um, so yeah, we have this like PlayStation kind of, it's definitely like, it's cut out. It's not like a sticker or um, kind of, you know, shiny indent or something. That is actually cut out to where you can see this black stuff behind it, which is kind of cool. We will uh, we'll go to the back first. So what do we have? What do we have? That, I think it's something like King's Intense Security or something. Not sure. Something there. Something, something, something. Two USB 3s in the back here. We've got an Ethernet, HDMI out, and the power supply. No optical um, input for uh, audio, which is the same on the Series X too, which is really unfortunate for my setup for uh, recording and stuff gameplay-wise. Um, my setup required that. So, um... I have to figure something else out. Uh, got an eject button and a power button. Which you, can we get that on here? That it, you can see this thing's definitely going to pick up fingerprints. As you can see, I've touched it twice and they're already there. We got a USB C and a USB on the front. Obviously, the disk drive, which gives it that like side hump. I don't really see why you couldn't stand it without the stand. 
standing up. To be honest, maybe it needs ventilation or something with the stand, or maybe it's just there for safety purposes. But um, obviously with the digital one, you wouldn't have this kind of side curve, as it were. I'm trying to make it, it's too white. It's, it's blending in with the backdrop. But as you like, it would be like this, just on the other side for the digital one. So it look more uh, symmetrical. Um, but you know me, I like my discs, so physical was not even a choice for me. Um, we do have the Sony logo written up on here. Now, something, ooh, can I get this on here? We look, we have the symbols on the underside, or the, yeah, the bottom side of the, uh, with the controller I think like the grip on the back is supposed to be a ton of yeah you can can we even get that on the camera can you guys even see that there is very 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 tiny symbols the X uh, or cross sorry circle square triangle very 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 tiny ones make up the kind of textured back it looks like it makes up this part here and then the kind of underside of the uh, panels on the uh, system. So I don't know how this vertical stand attaches, but let's figure that out together. But that's uh, as far as the unboxing. That's basically it. That's everything. Um, we'll see. There's the guarantee. That's not going to help me. Quick start guide. That should help. So attach the base for vertical position, that's how I'll be having mine because I don't think it will fit my entertainment unit, I'll have to sit on top make sure the hook is in the position, it's illustrated below for does this turn? oh it does turn I mean you can pivot okay Place the console with the rear side facing up and remove the screw cap. Okay, and I'll lose that for sure. Is there a place to put that? Attach the screw cap, screw hole cap on the bottom of the base. Remove the screw from the bottom of the base. Ah, there's the screw. So I'll remove that. And then this, they thought that they thought ahead. Oh, people will lose that. So it slots nicely right. In there, hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, so, um, attach the screw, move the screw from the base, attach the base, secure. it that way I think and then it hooks in like that does it this is not entirely intuitive I'll tell you that much is that actually Oh, it's growing in. It doesn't feel very secure. Uh, I'm going to try and use my knife because I do not have a screwdriver handy right now. I probably should get one. But I mean, you could easily use like a penny on the side of a knife like I am doing here for this. Basically the same kind of connection as the PS4 vertical stand. Obviously, a screwdriver would probably be easiest, but it's nice and flat enough to basically fit a coin in if... You don't have, you know, a screwdriver around. I don't have a coin line around right here either. So, knife it is. Might tighten that up a bit later with a uh, screwdriver. It's good enough for now. 
We'll test it on. I'm not sure why this hook's here. It didn't hook into anything. Is oh maybe that's for um if it's uh if it's flat, maybe that part hooks into there. Is that what this is about? Yeah, okay, so if it's flat you use those uh those symbols I showed you earlier, the X circle, yada yada, you hook it onto that and then I guess it just rests on there. Make sure the hood and position place the phone this side align with the Yeah, so flat is super simple. Standing up, you gotta screw it in. Yeah, I guess that does give it a bit more ventilation, that's possibly what that's for. But anyway, that is the PS5. Uh, a week late, obviously, because I'm UK. <laughs> but the controller, definitely looking forward to checking out some of the features on this bad boy. Um, definitely feels nicer and weightier than the um, PS4 one. Although I did really like the PS4 one. The PS3 one was horrible. Could not get on with that little PS. The buttons, I'd say the face buttons here, the X, circle, triangle, square are nicer to press. Everything else feels very much the same as a PS4 controller. So yeah, you get the console, the controller, if it'll stand, a uh, power cable, HDMI cable, and the charger for the controller, along with all your paperwork and all that nonsense. But yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give me that thumbs up. Um, hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more content. Hit the bell if you want to know when that goes live. If you want to see some PS5 stuff, I have Spider Man and Godfall. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below. I'll maybe make a video for them if I can figure out a setup for my recording stuff. Um, but yeah, that's the reason I haven't had any Series X stuff up, is mainly due to that. Pesky lack of optical port. Uh, yeah, I will quit rambling. Um, if you already do all those things, liking, subscribing, hitting the bell, all that stuff, then then thank you. I really do appreciate it. Uh, we're rolling up on 10,000 subscribers now, so hopefully we can hit that. You know, maybe early next year or something. That'd be amazing. Uh, but I mean, new generations upon us. Let's uh, let's get into some some new games. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you next time.